Have a listen to this clip that was making headlines and tell me if you can, what is this person reacting to? Uh, for the point, who was that and why are they crying? I think that was me when the Freedom Convoy left. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally. I believe that's every Ontarian uh, June 3rd after Ford gets voted out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was me watching a video of a panda rolling down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. I was overwhelmed. Uh, it was not. I think I knew who it was. Jean? Is that Alfonso Davies and one of his crazy TikTok reaction views? You are correct for the point. The Sportsnet headline reads, Alfonso Davies in tears as he watches Canada qualify for the World Cup. Woo! <laughs> oh my God. Alfonso Davies is the star of the Canadian men's soccer team. He's been on the sidelines while he's recovering from a COVID-related heart issue, but he is live streaming as he watches the games. It's also so funny that he's this like athlete that everyone looks up to but he's in like a gaming chair and reminding you that he's very, very young as well. He's got the joy of a five-year-old. It's just fantastic. Team Canada clinched a berth in the World Cup after defeating Jamaica 4-0 in Toronto. For a further point, why, panel, was this such a big deal? Because we've had it out for the Jamaicans ever since they, uh, they had <laughs> all the best food in Toronto and we're, we want our own food. It's not our <laughs> Jamaican beef. Yeah, we have a beef. With Jamaica. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. It's because Canada has qualified for the World Cup for the first time since 1986 and the second time ever. Wow. That is correct. Yeah. 36 years it's been wow. since we qualified for a World Cup spot. I'm not really following the World Cup that closely, but I am Jamaican. <laughs> I just assumed that the Canadian team was mostly Jamaican, so I took it as a win anyway. <laughs> so far, you couldn't lose. No, yeah, it's a win-win for me, but I didn't know that we're that bad at soccer. I thought we'd be okay. The we women were, were doing great. Oh. Yes, and this is a thrill. This is a total thrill. Canada's a complete joke in the soccer universe, but not anymore. Now we're ready to honk our own horns on College Street in Toronto. <laughs> team coach John Herdman has been credited with uniting the team and giving Canadian fans something to shout about. Here he is. We've got great Canadians in this country and they're leading our country in sport. What a, what a privilege it's been as a coach and I'm proud for all of these people here. I love that guy's voice. That's how <laughs> I'm going to say country from now on. Country. Country. Kunre, my favorite Kunre. <laughs> Herdman went on to declare that Canada is a specific kind of Kunre. What kind of Kunre are we? We're just a country standing in front of the world asking them to like us. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. Uh, Ajanis, do you know what kind of country uh, we are? For me, Canada's like, it's too big. It's like a very large country. <laughs> And it's always trying to project like a strong image in the G7 and everything, but it's constantly being dwarfed by its like burlier southern partner. So to me, in gay terms, Canada is a tall bottom. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, it is not what uh, the coach of the Canadian soccer team uh, is. It not, is said. that not what he was saying? Is that not no, what he was No, he did going? not say we are a tall bottom country. Here is what the coach said We're a football country. We wanted people to believe that we're a football country. We proved it. We are a football country, he said. We are a soccer country. <laughs> I know I, I love the enthusiasm, but you can keep your footballs over on that side of the pond because that's not how we do it here. I don't know. This is the coaches leading Canada to the World Cup and has already done it before with the women. If he says we're a football country, I'm just going to say what he says. Uh, we are a football country, says John Herdman. Herdman is known for his creative motivational tactics. Last year, he handed the team a mock newspaper dated March 31st, 2022. What was the front page headline on this paper from the future? A Jonas. We probably World War III officially declared. <laughs> <laughs> but like maybe in like a smaller column, I would say like Canadian Ted Lasso spinoff in production for CBC Jam. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Jean, uh, any guesses as what this uh, Canadian men are as good as Canadian women? Hey, <laughs> I mean you're not far off. It was a mock <laughs> Toronto Star newspaper, and the mock headline says, "We did it! The world is on notice as Canada qualifies for Qatar." Nice. Our team won't be going to the World Cup alone, panel. According to CBC News, they have a secret weapon. The headline reads, Canadian men's soccer team will be armed when it goes to Qatar for the World Cup. What will we be armed with? Oh, they got my boy Kawhi Leonard on the roster. <laughs> making a pivot. We're going to take it home. We're just going to take a couple of Raptors because we're also <laughs> a basketball country. <laughs> what will the team be armed with? Gee. Um, snowballs. <laughs> Miguel? Whoopee cushions and stink bombs, baby. We're going <laughs> childish on them. Here's what they really will be armed with. A sword. What? That's ah! right. That's... The team has a custom-made sword, which was made for the team to inspire swagger on the field. The blade is inscribed with the Latin phrase, Nil Temendum Est. Any idea what Nil Temendum Est means? Neil Patrick Harris? <laughs> Nihil temendum est. Fear nothing. Dean, do you actually know Latin? A little bit. Uh, yeah, well, enough to get that correct. That is yeah, correct. Yeah. Whoa. I took Latin Fear for two nothing. years in high school. I tried ancient Greek, but I only lasted a half a term. <laughs> so did ancient Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the entire episode of Because News by subscribing on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.